Hi, I'm Emily. And I'm Alan. Hey, Emily, do you need like a minute to finish up before we, you know, film this episode? You know, there's a reason why I'm eating this. Oh, yeah, sure. Probably something to do with cats, I imagine. Not this time, but that I can think of at least. Hmm. Actually, our loyal T4L T viewers will probably remember an episode where I found a Rice Krispie bar mm -hmm. while discussing open educational resources or OERs. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I remember that. Since recording that episode, we found even more OERs that are worth sharing, so I thought we should do a part three. Well, okay, part three it is then. OERs are a popular area right now in the ed tech field, so more resources are showing up every day, it seems. We've covered some open textbook sites such as Flat World Knowledge in a previous episode from a couple of years ago, so wow. naturally several other sites have emerged. The OER Consortium has several open textbooks specifically for many popular general education classes at community colleges. This site doesn't write or house the books themselves, but rather provides links to the textbooks. So this might be a good place to start your search. Connections is a repository featuring open source textbooks as well as learning modules for many general education courses. If you're only looking for free open texts, check out their partner site, OpenStax College. If you're looking for full courses, check out Sailor University. They offer several full courses created entirely from OERs. These courses might be useful if you want to see what's already out there for your classes or if you want to provide your students with a few extra resources. Mm -hmm. No longer is required to access the courses and access is free. Beyond Sailor, some instructors are using MOOCs to supplement their courses. MOOCs can provide additional resources for students either for expanding their knowledge on a particular topic or providing additional resources to help clarify money concepts. What's more, taking MOOCs yourself exposes you to new and different methods and materials for teaching online. That's right. Alan and I have taken several MOOCs and even taught one ourselves. I know I feel like I've picked up a lot of new ideas for creating video lectures, course organization, and for structuring discussions. Mm -hmm. Like Sailor University, Education Portal also has several free online courses in many different subjects. Many of the courses and lessons are made up of video content. The videos are very dynamic, many include animations. Uh, after completing videos, students can complete self-check quizzes. These video modules would be great to use if there's an area in your course your students are having trouble with. Annenberg Learner at learner.org provides lesson plans for certain er content areas and also links to interactive activities across disciplines. This is a cool example of a branching scenario on becoming a spice trader. Bottom line, there is a lot of content out there available for you to use in your courses, whether online, hybrid, or to even supplement face-to-face -face learning. Let us know what you find. We've only just scratched the surface of an area that is going to continue to grow over the next few years. Uh, hopefully, our cafe can keep up with the demand of Rice Krispie bars uh, for future episodes. Hey, you know what would be really cool? What? A cat-shaped Rice Krispie bar. Thanks for watching.